Hi everyone and welcome to another Unity Editor Basics tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the window option, which is in the menu bar right up here. So we've talked about all these other options, file, edit, assets, game object, and so on. And now we're going to be talking about window. So when we click on window, we, uh, there is a drop down menu with all these other options that are presented to us. And the first one is uh, panels. Now the panels option will allow you to view all these panels which are normally displayed in the game editor. For example, um, we have the project window, hierarchy window, uh, and the game window and so on, the console. So if I click on console, you'll see that down below the console opens right so moving on you can also change um, the layout of the unity editor to display as many panels as you want so basically you can uh, customize the unity editor by you know clicking on this option and let me just go back to default you by the way you can also do this on the far right hand corner where it says um, default so you can also change it from here like so right so then we have the collaborate option so this uh, opens up here right uh, so this is going to open up here on the right side uh, just besides the inspector window tab here so you can see collaborate and it, what it's going to do is that it's going to allow you to collaborate with your team members using something called unity collab so moving on we have this plastic scm option and this is a full version control stack integrated with unity right and let me just zoom in here a bit more because i like this view anyways after that we have a package manager so the package manager option is going to open up the package manager window where you can add and basically remove packages from so let me go ahead and close this window right so after that we have asset management and then this allow this opens up a new um, option which is called version control right so this allows you to manage the different assets in your project via version control and then we have a text mesh pro option and a text mesh Pro is an easy to use system for high quality text and it has uh, you know all of these uh, text uh, formatting options and from here you can create fonts import uh, sprites for 2d games import tools uh, for, for uh, text mesh pro okay so anything to do with UI and uh, text mesh pro is here and then we have this uh, general option and this allows you to see windows again like inspector hierarchy and once again console right so you can also do it from here and moving on we have rendering which has all these different op windows that will open up for you to adjust the lightning right and um, we have occlusion culling out here sorry i keep going to component but inside rendering we have lighting option which opens up this window uh, on the right we have the light explorer and we have occlusion culling right now what is occlusion culling so occlusion culling is a feature that disables rendering of objects when they are currently when they are currently not seen by the camera because they are obscured that is occluded by other objects so occlusion culling is going to remove additional objects from within the camera rendering uh, work right so after that we have the light explorer option which is uh, going to allow you to basically see every light in your project 
right so moving on we then have the animation option right so this is going to open up different windows associated with creating and editing animations in your game and same for audio it is going to open up uh, the audio mixer right window and then we have moving on we have sequencing analysis ai xr ui toolkit and render pipeline we have all these options so basically you're going to see xr and render pipeline if you're working in uh, some urp project and you're working with uh, vr right normally you're just going to see sequencing analysis ai and ui toolkit okay so sequencing option out here right now what this does is that it's going to open up a timeline window okay so it's going to open up a timeline window which is going to basically let you uh, make a cinematic sequence so you can make cinematic sequences like you know in movies then we have this after that, moving on, we have the AI option, which has a, a navigation. So the navigation window, so let me close this, and now you can see the navigation window on the right side. So the navigation window will allow you to open and manage any nav meshes that you have in your game. So when we do AI patrolling, right, we have an AI agent just patrolling the scene intelligently. We use uh, a nav mesh and basically we can edit the nav mesh here uh, by going to AI option and then navi, sorry, navigation, right. So what is this analysis option, which is pretty useful, right? So as a beginner, you might not think about optimizing your game, analyzing it, but moving on, it is something that you should think about. So the analysis option lets you analyze your game. Now, when you make an application in Unity, it's important that you know you analyze and debug your game so that it runs correctly on all intended uh, platforms, right? So we have out here profiler, frame uh, debugger, physics debugger. So the frame debugger is going to, you know, it lets you freeze the playback for your game on a particular frame and view that and uh, view the individual draw calls that are used to render that particular frame. And after that, we have the physics debugger right so the physics debugger allows you to inspect colliders and physics in your game and we also have then this unity profiler and out here you can see that it's a tool that you can use to get some performance information about your game and lastly we are we have a ui toolkit option which allows you to access a collection of features functionality resources and other tools basically for uh, developing user interfaces right so that's all for the window option and moving on we will discuss uh, help so if you like this video found it useful go ahead and click like and subscribe